Well, the big game is almost here, and former NFL player and LGBTQ activist Ezra Tuallo is celebrating with an inclusion party. Celebrity Page is a proud media sponsor of the event, and now our Stephen Walker is chatting with the star about his major impact. It's today's Equality Spotlight. You were playing football in front of thousands uh, in the closet, and now you're an out man leading on the parade. How does that feel? Uh, you know, I think anyone in the LGBTQ community understands that when you're in the closet and living with a crippling secret, it's not a good thing. But when you come out and you live in your truth, it's absolutely amazing. You're a trailblazer, an inspiration. Who's been your inspiration? Ah, wow. Well, I think there's two people that have been my inspiration. David Copay, who was the first NFL player that came out. Uh, his book basically saved my life because there was a time in my life when I wanted to kill myself and commit suicide and someone gave me his book and it was absolutely eye-opening to know that there was another person out there that was like me. Uh, second uh, is my mother. She was always been supportive of me. I, my dad died when I was 10 years old and she's always been uh, my rock and everything that I needed and she's always told me to try different things because you never know you're good at so that's why I do a lot of things. Ezra even writing a book about his own journey and opening up to Stephen in an interview earlier this year about the difficult process. Like 35 years old coming out, people wanted me to write a memoir about my life, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I got more living to do, you know? Can we like wait? But um, what it did, it, I went back and I opened all those doors that I shut for a long time, and I had to open them and confront them. And and so when I did confront them, it helped me to sort of kind of let everything go. I started forgiving people. I started, um, I think that's when the healing started for me personally. And the reason why I wrote the book is because when I came out, thousands of people would email me telling me how my story inspired them and how it gave them strength. So I think writing the book sort of helped myself, but also helped a lot of the people. Couldn't have said it any better ourselves. Head to hateiswrong.org for tickets and more.